Hello, I am logged in as a student right now uh, to IXL, and I want to show you uh, something that I think some of us are missing when it comes to IXL. Um, this tab up here, the Diagnostic tab, is really, really important if you want to get good information out of IXL. If you're assigning lessons and you're saying go to the Math tab, that's wonderful and it's fantastic, but it's not going to give you any data that you can use. But if you send your students to the Diagnostic tab, all right, and they get this menu, start diagnosing to reveal your levels, step into the arena. All right, they can choose a question and get started. All right, so, so I'm gonna answer some questions. I'm gonna get some right, I'm gonna get some wrong. And then you get a pop-up and, and that'll show you how you're doing. I'm gonna answer a few more questions and then it shows me geometry and then I click see your levels and that brings me here where I'm gonna get a lot more information um, based on what I'm doing so the more you work right the more information you can get here so based on this we have three recommended skills one recommended skill and it's saying for fractions geometry measurement and uh, data and statistics and probability, we need more information in order to uh, reveal our score or reveal more of our score. But you get a feel for what's going on here. And if you want to use IXL to the best of your ability and its ability, you want to make sure you're spending time weekly in the diagnostic tab. You want to see your levels going up based on the work that you're doing. And you can learn what skills you need to practice based on the recommended skills that you get when you are working in the Diagnostic tab. The Diagnostic tab should be a part of your weekly IXL time, ideally 20 minutes at least a week in language arts and math. Let me know if you have any questions. See you guys later.